beautiful in these woods. Really peaceful. There's a creek just up ahead. Let's take a look around here. You can see an old cypress tree as well, right along the banks of this creek. Now, many of the old cypress trees here, hundreds and thousands of years old, unfortunately, were cut down during the logging era here, there in the 1800s. But some of these trees still remain. Living fossils, two species frequently seen here, have not changed for millions of years. American alligators first appeared at what is now Florida at least 8 million years ago. Sandhill crane fossils from 2.5 million years ago look virtually identical to skeletal remains from the present. Nice wide open areas here. Most likely some sort of old pasture here used at one time. Really nice tree here. Now this is interesting, here in this open field behind us, you'd never know today, passing by here, but at one time there was a schoolhouse here in this area, and a homestead as well. Exploring out here deep in the woods, getting close to this old cemetery, once part of a town out here, now a ghost town. It's abandoned. Nature's reclaimed much of the place. Some of the folks that lived in the area at the time are buried out here. Settlers in these areas there in the 1800s raised horses and cattle, cultivated crops such as Peanuts, corn, sugarcane, oats, just to name a few. They lived off the land in these areas. And many of the settlers here fought in the Seminole Indian Wars during the 1800s and were given land grants to move into these areas and settle the land. So it was just some of the history in this area that we're roaming through today. Many of these roads, pathways that we're walking along currently were used during those times. A lot of people who lived here. During the old days, folks traveling through this area, horses, stagecoaches, you can just envision it as you walk through the woods here. Not too far from here was an old railroad line as well, which was vital for transportation of people, goods. And also nearby was the river as well, which was a major 
route of transportation for boats and ferries. See many of the tombstones here remain. Unfortunately, some infant graves here. This person was born in 1885 and passed away in 1886. Here's some tombstones. The name of Potter on them. Sarah Potter is buried here. This cemetery out here in the woods is a reminder of the past and the people who once lived out here made a way of life. This is their final resting place. A beautiful area here in the forest. Peaceful. May they rest in peace. Some tombstones are harder to read than others. It's very interesting. You can see remnants from some sort of structure that once stood out here in this area. Some bricks buried all throughout this section, piled up, parts of foundations. I'm seeing some metal as well. <laughs> 